Hey, y'all. Thank you so much for taking time to come over here and visit with us over on Rochester's Heating and Air. I'm Fritz Rochester. I'm a licensed Kentucky HVAC master contractor right here in Louisville, Kentucky. And guys, if you've been following us for a little bit now, you've seen that we're actually shooting a series on the I-Manifold, well, a continuing series on the I-Manifold. And basically what we're doing is we're showing some functionality. We're actually going to give some descriptions and uh, some, some testing and actually uh, uh, some little tech tips, if you will, I-Manifold tech tips. And basically I've, I've shot a, a few of these already, and we actually shot one on actually how to install our hanging strap here, a piece of cake. You merely take uh, uh, four screws out of the back, uh, back plate here that covers our batteries, our battery compartment, and there's a little bar in there that sits in a cradle. You remove the bar out of the cradle, you insert the bar through the strap itself, put the bar back into the cradle, then put your back back on it, inserting your four screws, and wham bam, you're hanging your eye manifold from wherever you want to hang it from. And guys, uh, we actually shot some video with our Cooper Atkins uh, uh, temperature probes here. Uh, we actually showed you actually how to hook them up. Uh, they're a piece of cake. Um, uh, and guys, I think you're going to really love them because you're going to be able to get them in the tightest spot. Yet. Unbelievable, uh, unimaginable. And uh, you're going to love them. I guarantee you are. I, I do. And uh, we actually shot some video too, little tech tip videos, uh, I'm manifold tech tip videos on, on the device that we're actually utilizing. You can use Apple, you, you, iPad, wh whatever you want to use. And uh, we're actually using the Nexus 7. And we actually showed you how to link the two devices together so they would function. Uh, we actually took you over and we showed you how to actually download the iManifold app itself from Imperial. And uh, you're going to have to have that so these can uh, both work in conjunction with one another. Um, basically, guys, there's several great videos out there on testing um, the, uh, the iManifold itself. Uh, Dallas has some fantastic uh, videos. Uh, Jim Bergman's going to have some fantastic, he already does, but he's going to add to it. He's going to have a lot more uh, technical uh, videos. Uh, I think they're going to be fantastic. He's just got a way of explaining things that it really sinks in. Um, HVAC Talk, uh, there's several uh, good fellows over there that actually have uh, done a few videos. Uh, testing with it and they've actually got some really great pictures and they are actually over there talking about the uh, I-Manifold as, as well. So there are several forums that you can actually go to find out about the I-Manifold. But um, anyway guys, uh, the tech tip today, the I-Manifold tech tip today was I wanted to show you all how I'm going to actually store my uh, uh, Cooper Atkins uh, temperature probes um, uh, for now. I'm not positive I'm going to leave it this way, but uh, I think this is the way I'll, I'll, I'll do it for, for a while. Until I might even buy a case. I'm not positive, guys, but it actually does work great. On the I-Manifold itself, man, what, the way they designed it, they have like a rail system here. And what you can actually do is go out and get you some Velcro. And when I was at the uh, Walmart, uh, it struck my eye. I seen some uh, red, white, and blue Velcro. And I said, I got to have that for, for my rail. And uh, basically the reason I got it was because this, guys, is an American-made product. This is employing Americans, and it's employing uh, several Americans, and I think they're doing one fantastic job, and, and uh, I, I think it's excellent, guys, and my hat's off to you, and I, and I wish you all the best of luck, guys. All right, so basically what we're actually going to do here is we're actually going to take our uh, Velcro here. We're going to slide it through our rail system. Piece of cake, guys. And once you get it installed like this, you can actually just leave it like this, you know, while, while you're working. But uh, we'll take our other one, slide it right through this rail, and... Uh, Get it in here like so. We'll take our Cooper Atkins uh, uh, clamp temperature probe and set it right here like so. And we'll take our two other Cooper Atkins uh, clamps, our, our uh, probes, and we'll actually take our Velcro here. And it's simple to do, guys. Piece of cake. It only takes a second. But uh, anyway, guys, we'll take our Velcro here and we'll put it right through the hole. And I probably won't get this one super tight yet. And I'll take this one and I'll tighten this one up. And it's cold out here, guys. We're supposed to get like down in the zero or the single digits again. All right, so let's uh, get that tight. Let's go ahead and get this one tight. Like I said, it only takes a brief second. All right, guys, look at that. All right, so let's take her puppy. Look at that. It ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. All right, guys, that's that's pretty good onboard storage. I love that. But. Uh, Basically, too, guys, what I did was I took, uh, hey, John, heavy diesel. I actually got to use the Facum. Uh, what I did was I actually took my Facum here, and I actually uh, loosened up my, my dead rail here, and I, I, I adjusted them. And basically, too, guys, I'm going to actually, I, and I got me some caps, too. And uh, basically, if I do need these out in the field, um, I can actually uh, utilize them if I've got, like, a leaky cap or something. But while, they're, while I'm actually hooked up, I'll be able to park them on my dead head here. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, I like to park mine or put the caps on mine 
because uh, I like to use two different sets of hoses. I'll use R22 hoses and I'll use R410A hoses. And on each use, I purge them with nitrogen to ensure that I'm not gonna get any cross contaminants. But uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with y'all. I thought that was neat. Um, I think that's too cool. I'm loving my new hook. Uh, everything's rocking, guys. So what I wanted to do was just say thank you so much for, for, all your, uh, for all your kind words and everything and your support. And I reckon we're going to have some more I-Manifold uh, uh, tech tip videos to come along with some testing and uh, whole nine yards. And like I said, please go check out all my great friends on here. All right, guys. We'll holler at y'all soon. Take care. Bye.